Uh, just throughout the years, you're going to be in middle school and high school. You know, you're going to use this technology, and even when you graduate college, you're going to need to know technology. And it just it opens so many doors for possibilities that you could do for jobs and just when you're much older. You have your old access. You have your old password. So no one would have to get into it. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't learn anything. You can use different kind of things at different kind of times, and you can use two things at a time. It shows us what to correct because even though it's not ours, we see what to correct and make sure we have it right. With the technology embedded into the math curriculum, um, it is very helpful in that I can create presentations and review videos. I can post them out onto the drive um, and share them with my students so that they have a point of reference going back that is more interactive than their notes. I like, I love using technology because I feel like it's an easier way to learn. But with technology, there's so many things there's endless options of what you can do and customize anything that you do and just it's more comfortable. When they can see something firsthand and have um, a various amount of resources at their fingertips, I think they can ask questions um, and things that they probably wouldn't have thought of without um, seeing it firsthand. So we looked up like thing we had like days like we um, we look to see like what's like gas and solids and liquids on our computers. And uh, we went, we watched Bill and I, the science guy, after we were done doing our project because we was in centers and we like did fun stuff that helped us learn about matter. Absolutely it does. It makes them more curious. Oh, oh yeah, it does because I get back messages and airdrops and everything from them um, when they have questions and, and it promotes um, communication with the children because they ask questions and I respond back so it promotes a different type of relationship with them on top of um, what we already do. We worked in an iMovie for the PBIS store, and then what we do, we help out for Ms. Bronson with the PBIS store. We help with the classes coming down here. We use technology to help us with the PBIS. Um, the, the students, they um, make iMovies about our store. This is our PBIS store. And they make movies about our store, to or commercials more so to um, send out to the teachers so that the students can see and it can stay in the forefront of their minds. We had one person look up stuff. <clears throat> we had a typer and we also had a picture editor. Like I was a picture editor and I also typed a few things. So yeah, we also like team worked on hard because that's the first thing that we did and we didn't know how to do it. So we just kind of it was really fun, but it's kind of frustrating because we kind of had to like switch computers around because one person had a website up and then why had the keynote up, well not keynote, but slides up and then we just had to keep on switching it. So. When you share it with your friends, they like check it and they share their opinions on it and something that they might think you made a mistake on. And so you're just like, you might not be talking to them face to face, but you still have that connection of knowing that they're like helping you out. Uh, they're excited to share their thoughts. They've been able to share, uh, they can write their responses, they can make their own video and share out. And then they can also uh, do illustrations, so they're not only authors, but they're illustrators as well. When the kids have their own computers, they are actively engaged in what they're doing, um, more so than they are when I'm trying to teach them. Um, I can put them on programs that meet their needs. One of the programs I have them on has them work math problems to defeat another wizard is what it is. Because they're doing that, they see it more as a video game, not a learning experience. But then I notice the learning when they come into my math class later and say, hey wait, I did this back when I was playing on that game. I get excited that I've learned something new. Okay, and you think the computer helped you do that? Mm-hmm. How? I don't know. I mean, it just teaches me how to do it. See, there's a battle. Okay. And I got to answer the, all these math questions. Uh, we get to pick a, ba uh, a spell. 
I always pick power beam, and we have to, this one says what shape has all right angles. So I gotta find which one has all right angles, which would be this rectangle. Um, I use laptops for various reasons. Um, I mean, we do research online, we do um, videos, we've done creation of uh, commercials. Um, it's, we use different websites for vocabulary study. Uh, I, we've just done all sorts of different things with it. It is definitely the future. Everyone should use technology. Everyone. It's very good technology, and I love working on it. I know that um, I've accomplished something. It makes me feel good. On my laptop, it just teaches me how to do it in a simpler way. Many much in the future, this world will be high tech.